Okay, coaches, we're going to take a look at some of these play action pass cut ups from Coach Brian White at Rose Holman Institute of Technology in Indiana. Uh, Coach White did a terrific job submitting another clinic report for us on some of the protections that he used in this play action game. And uh, again, coaches, if you want the entire narrated video as well as the unnarrated game clips, you could find them at the Insiders website at www.xandolabs.com by becoming an Insider member today. So as you go through this, a lot of this, you know, some of this is 11 personnel. You're going to see 11 personnel formation here, okay, with a Y off. All right, and Coach details the Y blocking situation, whether he has to know whether he's to the call side of the boot play action or if he's away from the boot play action. Right now he's to the call side, okay, so the boot's coming to him. So he is going to right now just block the defensive end and the C-gap. You see the offensive line is working their techniques, and Coach details those techniques in the full-length clinic report. It's a cover one look concept. So what you're going to see is a corner out right here by number two on a Sam linebacker, which is advantageous, of course, for the offense. We have both wide and tight shots. So we can see the, the footwork of the offensive line, which we all know is important, particularly in this situation, this scheme. So what you're going to see now is the always identifying the point. There's 42. Okay, there's the point, man. You're going to see a will linebacker is going to rush off the edge here. So what that means is that the center and the backside guard are working to 42. So they are working to 42. Everybody's working their course, working their angle. Okay, as you see... 11's coming off the edge, and Coach uh, White did a great job detailing his pressure progression and his blitz calls. What his offensive line does in this situation, they know that they are working to him. They are going to handle one, so they are working to one, and he's going to get picked up in the protection here, right here, by the backside tackle. Okay, same formation here. The boot is again going to the tight end side, so the tight end is going to stop, sit and block C-gap. Okay, what you're going to have here is a smash concept. Okay, number one on the hitch. Number two on the corner out. You know, coach gets a lot of cover one, so he does preach that corner out against cover one. It's a good opportunity for that. What we do want to show you on the end zone shot here is a pretty good technique by the center. Coach talks about a bracer step. Okay, so here's a center right here. Just to hold the whole deal of a, a, a bracer step, he's going to step right now to his right because it's a gap blocking scheme, but giving presence to the backside guard. So it's a good bracer step by that right foot. And you see the backside tackle here, the shuffle technique. He's uncovered, so he's shuffling into that B gap. Pretty good job closing that gap down, preventing any leakage. Okay, we're going to see another smash concept here. Blocking down. Here comes the hitch. Here comes a corner by number two. The quarterback's able to get around, whip his shoulders around, and throw the corner out for an excellent ball and a good completion. We got some pressure here, so I want to show you exactly what happens. This is just about blocking gaps. Okay, so everyone's stepping to their gap. They're taking the, the, the necessary footwork that Coach White details in the report. Everyone's taking the right steps, sealing things off so the quarterback can get around the pocket. Okay, now this is where it gets a little interesting. Whatever you want to do with that tight end with that Y off the ball, now the play is going to the tight end. So now he has to make a decision what he is doing with that tight end. Okay, now Coach the talk talks about what Coach White talks about whether he's going to kick that player out or he's going to you know whatever you want to call in terms of get your hips around him, log him. Some coaches use all right, but he is going to look at the C gap defender in this situation. You know your key and hips. It's a muddy read, so as this tight end is coming across the ball, he has to make a decision pretty quick here. He decides to try to log him. Now, once that happens, the quarterback is responsible for the second player outside of him. I guess he, the tight end may have felt that he was a threat. But a pretty good job by the quarterback as he works reading the coverage. Okay, it's a smash concept again. There's number two working one-on-one -on -one in here. That corner is forced to get depth. 
looks like a quarters coverage concept. So you're going to see the hitch is wide open for the throw. And one more coaching point that Coach White brought up is this slot receiver now does a pretty good job. He talks about driving through the outside shoulder of the overhang defender, okay, in order to clear that release. So here's the overhang defender. He wants to drive at that outside shoulder to force him to get depth, okay, which he's going to do here. And what that does, it opens up the hitch route by number one. Quarterback could have thrown it a little sooner. Nonetheless, it's a pretty good completion.